What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultra Zilla Toys, and today I have a review of the Mech Planet, the Hot Soldiers soundtrack in Laserbird. All right, it's so a Transformers Thursday once again, and we have a little third-party sound wave to go over. I've had this guy for a little while, but was missing one of his weapons, which actually help hold him up in his alt mode here. Um, really, don't lose one of these things. It doesn't really <laughs> stand up too well. Um, if you want to keep it in this mode, which I probably won't. But we have a little sound wave here, soundtrack from Mech Planet. Um, not to be confused with Mech Fan Toys, which I keep doing. Apologies to both companies, but very, very cool. Let's take a look, let's take a look. So a nice little, you know, old, old mode. The yellow there is a little messy, to tell you the truth. It's a little underdone on top there. And I just kind of, I don't know, not sprayed on too well. Uh, uh, the silver parts look okay. Uh, not 100% perfect, but not bad. What the back looks like, again, his weapons kind of help hold him up, make him a little more easier to stand, and they just store right back there. This is functional uh, storage, you know. Uh, I always complain that I'm not really a guy that, like, cares about storage. Like, that doesn't mean anything to me um, in alt mode, so. But if it's functional, like this is, helps hold him up, then it works out. I mean, just don't look at it like that, because you got that little edge there going out. <laughs> Uh, is what it is, but it's okay, you know, it's a, an okay tape recorder, tape, you know, boom box, that type deal. <laughs> um, it, this doesn't like pop open or anything, and this is what the top looks like, a little button there. So these buttons look fine. But if you open it up like that, you reveal the little laser bird, laser beak, you know, the little cassette tape there what it looks like there and the paint's actually probably better here that silver looks really good and the black's fine and if it's painted you know on the back it's definitely painted so there you go probably should be keeping it like this in there um to transform this little little birdie all you got to do is spread out his wings and this isn't the easiest thing and we'll see if i could actually get it on video here I'll have to uh, cut away. Yeah, this this is not the easiest one to get up. So give me a second here. Alrighty, so I you know stuck this little uh, Revoltech web in there, popped it open, and there you go. <laughs> here is a little laser beak, all transformed. That's really all you get out of it. A little no detail head, some wings, little thrusters on the back, which I pointed out looks pretty good. So, but it's cute. I mean, you know, they could have not have included this stuff. Um, I like it. Uh, if you saw my Bumblebee review, you saw he did come with the little um, Jaguar here. Little Ravage, which is also really cute. Actually, this one turned out better, so that's what <laughs> those two guys look like together. And just for comparison, like, yeah, there's Ray. See, <laughs> they're like the size of her boots, so tiny. I'll take this guy away since he's not part of the set. But on the inside, you see some older detail, which is nice done in silver so that's pretty cool the translucent blue here is really nice as well not bad so let's transform this guy up if i can remember how to do it first thing you want to do is you want to take out his weapons we'll look at those in a moment um again never look at my transformers rev uh, reviews for your transformation videos because i don't really like uh doing it <laughs> see and you know i'm not good at it as you can also see, it's not really my thing. There is a tab in there. 
we will get his foot back on momentarily. So why include him then? Why not just cut away? Because you know, like, you know what you do get out of my transformation videos? You know, the, the grind you're gonna face. So it's like a warning. How about that? There you go, there's the bottom half. Bring that over, bring that over. And uh, pop his head up. Turn him around. And then you got a sound wave here, all transformed. And it looks awesome. That is a perfect little sound wave. No doubt about it. Looks really great. I <laughs> really, really like it, guys. It's really nice. Head sculpt is fairly good. There's a little bit of a red overspray from his goggles onto the sides there, um, mostly on this side, um, but and a little bit of overspray below him, but it's still a nice looking head. Um, sculpted really well. Sculpt work throughout it is nice for a little guy here. There's his legs. The silver looks good. The yellow. Again, they struggle with the yellow. They should have just sprayed it twice. Um, the feet look really good. A little yellow on the sides there and silver. So not bad there at all. I mean, he I poses pretty good. You know, he's not like super, super articulated, but like he looks pretty cool in a pose. The red bits around his arms look nice, so that's cool. Um, yeah, not perfect, but not bad. One of his weapons here is his shoulder cannon. Uh, this red on there looks decent enough. You know, if you look at the front, it's got some good detail. You could just pop that on his shoulder for a classic sound wave look. Pretty cool, I really like that. And then his other weapon, flip it over, take it out, flip it over, and that looks good with the silver at the tip, his blaster, and the red, that looks good as well. So yeah, I dig it. I think that's awesome. Uh, you know, I mean, again, the paint is not perfect, but I could deal with it. It's 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 a solid piece. It feels really good. No loose bits. Just really uh, nice. And the silhouette is like perfectly sound wave. That just looks awesome. Um, I don't think there's anywhere to get. And this would have been awesome. Like, cause there's a little slot in there for his hand. So it would have been cool if like they included something to hook up there. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's no real way to. Do that. You could just do that if you want, but you know, it would have been nice. It would have been nice. You know, I'll probably just store laser beak inside. Articulation head is on a ball joint here. Does move up. You, you gotta watch out because you keep pulling his head out here. But it can look up and down somewhat. Turns fine. Shoulders on ball joints, so you get a lot of good movement there. Uh, hinge at the wrist and you can swivel his wrist hinge at the elbow sorry can't swivel the wrists um, nothing in his waist and then ball joint did as you saw earlier at the legs so splits good that back forward everything you could need you do have a thigh cut which is nice and then a single joint at the knee and the foot can go up and down you know due to transformation so not bad, not bad, not bad at all. He's a nice piece. He is, I like it. I like these little guys. Sometimes like I feel like I almost like the Little Legends figures more than anything else. Just cause they're easy to transform, they're fun, you know, to go back and forth into transformations. And I, I don't say that, you know, often uh, with most Transformers, for me at least, you know. But it's, I think it's mostly a time thing. Um, here he is with my other Mech Planet toy, which is the Bumblebee, and that's how they look together. It's cute, looks good. 
I, I like it. I like the sizes. It's not bad at all. So that is pretty awesome. It is with Chopper, Funko Chopper. Um, what about Revoltech King Gainer? Just to give you some size comparisons. Leo Prime. I can see the Voyager class figure. I mean, in alt mode, but you know, not bad. Here's another small figure. There he is with Marvel Legends. Gr uh, Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon. And how about we mentioned the Revoltech before? There's Spider Gwen. Oh, you know what I have here? I have one of these little dudes. One of the Target Masters. From Takara. Yeah, his backpack but piece is missing, but as you can see is the size comparison from those guys. And that's it. That's all I have for this review. It's a really simple one. Simple on the transformation, simple on the look. But it does look cool. I really like it, so uh despite like the paint app stuff. You know, paint apps are a little weak, but otherwise, feels good. And you know, it'll look cool. On your shelf for sure. He's he's a, and he's a fun one to play with. How about that? I don't say that often, but he is very nice. Not bad, Mech Planet. Um, definitely with the two figures I have, you're definitely on my radar for more. So that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, peace out, peeps.